There's a species of frog that can completely freeze solid in winter, to the point where its heart stops beating. And then in spring, it just thaws out and starts hopping around again. It's crazy. But this is just one of many adaptations that are happening for organisms to survive in their environments. Today, we're going to learn about some more adaptations. Adaptations are features that allow organisms to survive in the conditions in which they normally live. A simple example is that fish live underwater, so they need gills to take in oxygen from the water. Adaptations can be structural, behavioural or functional. We're going to take a look at some examples of each, so that you understand what these words mean. But you don't need to memorise the examples, as the specification says, you'll be given appropriate information to allow you to explain how organisms are adapted. Structural adaptations are physical characteristics. For example, polar bears have fur to insulate them in a cold environment. Another example is that cacti have spines instead of leaves to reduce the surface area so less water is lost in a hot and dry desert environment. Behavioural adaptations are how the organism behaves. For example, a lizard basking in the hot sun on a rock to raise its body temperature. Another example is that birds migrate to warmer countries in the winter. Functional adaptations are about how something works or functions. For example, some fish and frogs living in very cold environments have got antifreeze in their cells so that they don't freeze to death. And some animals only give birth in a certain season to maximise their offspring's survival. There is one group of organisms that you need to know about in slightly more detail. These are called extremophiles. These organisms live in very extreme environmental conditions. For example, they may live in high temperatures, high pressure or high salt concentrations. Bacteria that live in hot deep sea vents are called extremophiles and these are an example you need to know. OK, it's time for some quick questions. Pause the video, try the questions and then press play to go through the answers. 1. Some seals live in the Arctic Circle. Describe two adaptations of seals to their environment. They have layers of blubber or fat to insulate their body from the cold. They also have streamlined bodies to swim quickly, to catch fish. And they've got a low surface area to volume ratio to minimise heat loss. You will have learnt this in the first topic. I've included how each adaptation is useful to the seal, although this isn't strictly necessary for a describe question. But when the command word is explain, then we need to do this. So question two, desert foxes have large ears, explain how this adaptation helps them to survive in their environment. Well, large ears will increase the surface area to volume ratio to maximize the heat loss in a very hot environment. This is important, otherwise the fox may actually overheat. And again, here is where I've started my explanation. So that's a good way to do it. Okay, how did you do? Next up, we're learning about food chains and feeding relationships. And please subscribe if you find this video useful. Thanks and bye!